guys, what's up? This is Zach King, getting back here in the rhythm of creating cool stuff for you. And what you're watching right now is some really cool tilt shift effects simply overlaid on some video. Time lapses work great with this. And for the last month or so, I've been getting a lot of emails about this tilt shift effect, which has been around for a while. And I've got a really cool plugin that works in Final Cut 10, in Motion 4, Motion 5, and Final Cut Pro 6 and 7. You can download this plugin for absolutely nothing. It's free in the link below. Or just go to FinalCutKing.com. Once you download the pack, which also includes project footage and the files, so you can follow along with the tutorials that I have after this. So if you want to jump to the Final Cut 6 and 7 tutorial, click right here to this time code. If you want to jump to the Final Cut 10 part and installing it with Motion 5, go ahead and click right here in this time. Otherwise, happy downloading. And if you have any questions, you know where to put them. I'm going to show you how to quickly install this template into Final Cut Pro 7 or Final Cut 6. And you do not need motion installed to do this. And how it's going to work in Final Cut is you're going to come in here and be able to go to your master templates. And I've got a folder where you're going to have your tilt shift in here. So let's add that right now. So make sure you've got your finder pulled up here with the download pack. And I've got a red folder. It's called Final Cut King. And in another finder, you can pull up your name, the admin account, go to the library, application support. We're going to come down to Final Cut Studio, Motion, Templates. And in this last area, I've already got a Final Cut King template, but that's fine. You can drag this in here or copy and paste it, however you like. And now that that red folder is here, it's got a little thumbnail of the effect and the actual motion template. And what's great is if I come into Final Cut now, I come down to my master templates, I go to Final Cut King, Tilt Shift is right there. So click it, it'll pop up here, you can see the effect finalized on a random image that I did. This is a clip that I actually gave to you guys that you can use in your project. Uh, do some testing of your own. All I have to do is drop this in on top. I'm going to trim it up. And now I'm going to delete the footage. We just did that to get the right length. Now if you double click this, come into your controls, and then drag your footage into the drop zone. Now you'll see it will replace this image here and go to the one I had. Now if you want to adjust it, you're going to have to adjust in motion for go back to your download pack that you got from the site and go to the folder called motion 4 and there's a tilt shift here and this is the motion 4 project open it on up you can see it's got the blurs applied already and all I'm gonna do is show you how to make an adjustment to the template so you got a top blur and you have a bottom blur so if I come to the canvas you can see if you look carefully a crosshair here and this is the bottom blur handle and you can see as I drag it, we can change the focal point where everything will be in focus. So from here to here, it's blurry from these two. This is the bottom. And then the top here, you can see the crosshairs again. One's here, one's here. So this is where it ends. And we could drag it up. And then more of this picture is in focus instead of the people. One suggestion I have is that making these look really cool is having people in them and higher perspectives so the people aren't close to the camera. So if you make this adjustment and you want to use that in motion, you can then save that as a template yourself. I'm going to call this Tilt Shift 2.0. I'm going to put it under the Final Cut King theme, which we just added to the library, just so it's all in the same place, same format, unless you're in Europe. And I'm going to go to Save. If I jump back to Final Cut, we can go down Master Templates, that Final Cut King folder and there's Tilt Shift 2.0. In your final download folder you actually see I've done several of these. I, I named it 2.0, 3.0, 4.0. Different variations that you can play around with with different amounts of blur that I've already created. So open up your downloads pack from the website and go to Motion 5 plus Final Cut X folder and if you open up this MOEF file which is for Motion 5 it's got everything you need in here and what I've done is created a rig and all that means is in Final Cut 10 you can easily just adjust the sliders yourself and not have to come into motion at all so it's super easy but you do need to open motion to install into Final Cut 10 
simply by coming to File, Save As, Template Name, I call it King Tilt Shift, put it under the category of Final Cut King, which you can create your own category, and a theme. If you don't have Final Cut King there, you can go to New Theme, and then go ahead and publish like this. Now in Final Cut 10, open up your filters, come to the Final Cut King folder that you created, and I've actually got a couple because I was testing and doing different versions, but I've got the King Tilt Shift here. This is the one I just created, and what's cool is I can scrub over like a regular filter and see the change that it's made, and if I want, I can drag and drop this on there no problem, and it's got a cool look. But what's sweet in Final Cut 10 is I've got the slider. I've got a bottom slider here, and this is the blur, and notice how if I go to zero, it pulls the blur all the way up to the top, and if I go to 100, it moves it all the way down. It's still there, but it's to the very edge, and now the top slider is for the top space. Zero is pulling it out of the frame, and then this is bringing it to the bottom. So you can literally pinpoint the area that you want to be in focus by adjusting these sliders. So I've made it really easy in this plugin. It's super fun to use. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them here on the website. That's the best way, or on the video. I've got another really cool plugin that's in the works right now for real camera shake in Final Cut 10 in Motion. So stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.